What is up, viewers, trolls, and haters? This is Pat here, and today I want to give you guys a commentary. It's like, you know, you, what else am I going to give you guys? And if you do hear clicking in the background, it's just my pen. And so, yeah, um, I just have a pen with me because that that's how I roll. Ammo, print pens out of control, whatever. Anyway, so let's get on to my topic. Um, I wanted to talk about um, equip does equipment equal success on YouTube? And this topic can go for any genre of YouTube videos. May it be video games, blogs, um, I don't know, technology videos or educational videos. I'm I'm not sure what genres there are. I just I, whatever. I'm just gonna. Uh, focus in on my genre which is video games and uh, what equipment for me means is pretty much the uh, capture cards um, mics gameplay and commentaries and you guys may be thinking gameplay and commentaries those don't aren't really equipments but this is how I think of equipment this isn't the like direct definition of what equipment is or means but this is just my little rinky dick uh, you know definition of what I believe it is in you know in simpleton terms it's just uh it's pretty much a device used to enhance the quality of a production. That's pretty much what I think equipment is. I mean, like I did, I said enhance, but it is to, it's pretty much to enhance. And it's, it's pretty much the things that you have in your arsenal to make your product better. And what I think to make your product better is, you know, capture cards and gameplays and commenters. Those, those play a big part in, big part in it. If you have a five and fifteen gameplay, it's not going to get as viewed as like a uh, you know 20 and 5 gameplay neither of those are really great but you know you understand where I'm coming from so anyway I want to continue on this and why I wanted to talk about this is because I've been watching and supporting smaller commentators a lot of people like to troll smaller commentators say oh your quality sucks you suck at commentate just give up I don't like your freaking camera pointing at the screen get a HD HD PVR now and it's just like I find all that like just I find it really just I, I, words cannot describe how angry I get at those people because when I, whenever I started off I don't start off with a HD PVR I don't start off with a um you know with, with a freaking like black magic intensity pro, pro blue snowball mic and I'm all geared up for the uh, freaking uh, commentary apocalypse. I didn't start off with that stuff. I started off with a dazzle, and you know what kept me going? It's the support of. Uh, it's kind of like there's a subclass of small uh, commentaries. Small commentaries, I'm meaning a hundred subs and more, and then there's small, small commentaries which are just like five and ten subs. So whenever I was a really, really small commentator, you know what kept me going? I mean, I like. I, I, you guys may think this is a little cheesy, but what kept me going was the support of other people. I mean, personally, like now, I don't really need support of other people. I know I make great quality content, and I believe that uh, I make a significant difference in my commentaries. But back then, I didn't know anything about commentaries. I would stutter. I'd be like, um, 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 uh, 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 uh and I wouldn't know what to talk about, but yet people kept supporting me. It would be like, next time, have a clear topic, and uh, you know, you'll do better. And they gave me constructive criticism. They didn't just say, stop it now, you suck, you'll never go anywhere. You know what? I really feel bad for those people that get those comments. I try to go as many channels as possible and encourage them to make videos. And I may not like all of them, but the thing is, if you just encourage them, they're the next generation. And I just feel that I need to play a part in inspiring them. Just because I'm a really helpful person, I'm not sure if you guys know that, but I'm really helpful. I like to help anybody, even if I may, even if I may not like their content, I'll still give them advice. I won't say that they suck. I'll give them pointers of what I think they could do better in the most constructive way possible, and that's just how I like to roll. And I just think that people these days think you need an HD PVR, a blue micro, a blue snowball microphone to be the best commentator in the world, and I'm just here to say that you don't need that stuff. Don't listen to them. If you just keep going the way you're going, and then eventually you get to the point where you get an HD PVR and you be dedicated enough to, um, you know, keep on making commentaries. And I just, I just want to give this shout out to all the small commenters out there that don't get enough recognition and don't get enough, you know, inspiring messages. And if you guys need a uh, pick me up, message me. I'll go watch your video and tell you what you need to do better, or tell you how great you are, because there's people out there. That are just so great that I don't even need to give constructive criticism because you know what I think that they're actually better than me or not better than me but they're at the same level as me and I believe that they should be recognized more and yeah I went over my time frame but whatever see you guys later bye.